Wild weekend at malls filled with last minute Christmas shoppers. Some stores will stay open around the clock until after Christmas. We have team coverage in these final days of shopping. ABC's Rachel Smith looks at where and when to get the best deals and with the least amount of stress, if that's possible. And John Schrippen is looking into whether the bad weather will mean your gifts won't get there on time. Let's start it off with Rachel, who's at Macy's in New York's Herald Square. How's it looking, Rachel? Uh, pretty good, Bianca. Good morning to you. If you still have shopping to do for everyone on your Christmas list, you are definitely not alone. There are only three more shopping days left until the big holiday, and stores, many of them, are staying open around the clock to accommodate all of us last minute shoppers. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to check it out today. I'm Every year, many fall victim to the same routine. Young lady, you know exactly when Christmas I is. I know, I know, and I always mean to plan ahead. Extended store hours at Macy's nationwide. The one here in New York City working round the clock. You gotta check it out. Toys R Us clocking major overtime. Their Times Square location opened 543 consecutive hours. Some retail experts say it'll be a bigger shopping day than Black Friday, which has even the procrastinators strategizing. There's a lot of research online, so we just tell me we know what we're going to get. I thought about going to get a glass of wine before I started, and I think maybe I probably should have. May not be a bad idea. <laughs> Another helpful tip, shopping at off-peak hours. Shopping in the middle of the night sounds crazy, but you're going to get a parking spot. There's likely more stock on the shelf, and it may come with some added benefits. Toys, Christmas decorations, apparel, jewelry, those things start to get slashed right as we get down to the last minute. 25%, 30%, 40%. I am loving these numbers. Don't be fooled. The sales will be better after Christmas, so if you're shopping for yourself, hold off. Just wait. But if you're shopping for this little one, Merry Christmas! Expect to wait in line like everybody else. A couple of final inside tips for you. A rep from Macy's told me the best time to shop during their extended hours is between 3 and 5 a.m. And Becky says keep your eyes peeled for electronics. The prices may not come down, but there are incentives with your purchase, like gift cards. Thank you, Rachel. Lots of Fiona. good tips in there. We appreciate it. Another pressing question this morning. With all the bad weather and the crush of last-minute shoppers, will your gifts be delivered on time? ABC's John Schreffern is on that angle from a FedEx location in Newark, New Jersey. John, good morning to you, sir. Well, Dan, good morning. A lot of activity this morning. This is FedEx's third largest hub in the country. And as you can see, a plane actually just dropped off a shipment. Workers are sorting it out right now. But because we've seen an increase in online shopping this year, FedEx expects to set a record number for packages they handle this holiday season. That means for these employees, they're working overtime and around the clock to make sure your package is delivered on time. With just three days until Christmas, Santa's little helpers are hard at work. I know him. No, not those helpers. These helpers. Delivery companies like UPS and FedEx are scrambling to get packages out of their trucks and under your tree, delivering more than 500 packages per second on their peak day alone. UPS knows how it is, you know. This time of the year you want your packages. Hopefully you're home when we get there. Retailer L.L. Bean sold so many holiday gifts, even its CEO had to help wrap and pack. All this begging the question. Is it going to arrive by uh, Christmas? That question, particularly hairy this year, as last minute shoppers create a fa la la logistical nightmare for shipping companies. Many people were forced to procrastinate because of Superstorm Sandy and this week's blizzard. Others were just waiting for last minute bargains. People work in and active lives, so they, they come to us to help them get their the last minute shipments out. It's busy and it's great. Of course, the only man who can ensure an on-time delivery, besides Chris Kringle, is Benjamin Franklin. Today, if you send a five-pound package from New York to Los Angeles, it'll cost you around 110 bucks. But UPS and FedEx say, guaranteed, it will reach your doorstep by Christmas Eve. And FedEx says the biggest hurdle they face is the weather. So if the roads are clear, they say chances are the package will get there on time.